how I see the US after living in Europe for five years. Really interested to see what we got with this video and see what he's going to have to say about America after living in Europe for five years. I'm guessing he's going to compare the two. This is going to be a pretty cool video to watch. Before we do get into this, I appreciate if you guys can hit that subscribe button. Let's jump straight into this and check this out. <sighs> I just had a nightmare that uh -oh. I had to choose between 40 brands of toilet paper. <laughs> I guess that's America. It wasn't a nightmare. <laughs> this is the US. Right. I always enjoy coming. Is that how many brands of toilet paper? You've actually got 40 different brands. Back to the US to see family, Wait, what friends, say? nature. I always enjoy coming back to the US. Right, okay. To see family, friends, nature. Beautiful. The nature is unbeatable, especially in a place like California. Oh, for sure. But Oof. living in the US is sort of like living in one big Hollywood movie. It's an experience. Okay. The good, the bad, and the ugly. Right. And after four years in Europe, I'm back in the US at the moment. Oh. So let me show you how. I really want to see Yosemite. Oh, it's beautiful, man. I see the US now. It's time to do some grocery shopping. And of course, I hop in my car. Right. And drive two blocks to my local supermarket. And why okay. walk when one can drive? <laughs> grocery shopping is an experience, an adventure. You see, I'm used to only one or two choices of brands to choose from in the Netherlands. Right. Here, there are like 50 brands of everything to choose from. Mad. From toilet paper to sausages to oh. coffee. But the thing is, isn't it like better if you got more choice? I would prefer to have more choice and more options because then you're going to like something more better, you know what I mean? Than just having two brands in the UK, bro. Let's see. Hazelnut, maple pecan. I'm going to go with caramel spice this time. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. How many different flavors, bro? No, 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 no. How many? Caramel Starbucks, hazelnut Starbucks. Bro, what? Maple pecans? Oh, my. Yo, I need this in my life. I'm going to go with caramel spice this time. Okay. On one hand, the variety is amazing. My. On the other, it can take me up to 15 minutes to buy toilet paper. <laughs> and oh. Do you know about our national treasure, Costco? At Costco, you'll find anything and everything in extra, extra, extra large. Wow. Everything really is bigger in the US. Wow. Plus the free samples and huh? the cheap hot dogs. And yes, unlimited drink refills. This oh. is America. Oh. <laughs> it looks perfect. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Holy crap, the selection is crazy. Yeah. And, and while it's really nice to come back and see all this variety in the supermarkets from Safeway to Costco to Trader Joe's, right. it can be sometimes overwhelming when you have every single possible combination of coffee, okay. toilet paper, and it can take me up to 20 minutes to buy a bag of chips. And the thing about- Yeah, but that's because it's taking so long because you're like looking at different options. After a few years, right? I I'm guessing when you guys in America go shopping, you already know the best flavor. You're, you're like, boom, 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 got it, right? But yeah, as someone not from America going to America, you're going to be like, whoa, I don't know what to try. Let's just try all of them. Free soda refills. While I oh. still love the concept and I loved it as a child, it's actually not so free because it's going to cost you in the long run. What do you mean? In terms of your health. Oh. It's time to go meet some friends for lunch. Oh, my health is already screwed, bro. My, my my health is... I am trying to be better. Like, I know I've got a can of Coke right now. <laughs> but I have been drinking more water. And I've been, uh, you know, going to the gym and stuff. So I have tried to look out for my health a little bit more. But yeah, I don't know, bro. Yo, to me so far, bro, America is just... Mwah. And on the way there, I see them. Oh, my. Wait, friends what? Friends for lunch. Okay. And on the way there, I see them. Oh my, it's always a shock, the homeless. Is it that bad? This is the part that Hollywood never shows. But life goes oh, on. Oh wow. It's part of everyday life in a big city. Okay. But I am looking forward to lunch and the food Oof. scene in the US. From Asian to Mexican to Oof. everything in between. Oof. There is something for everyone. Oof. And fast food everywhere. Every block, oh, man. every mall, every day. No wonder everyone is so big. Damn, <laughs> I already gained 20 pounds, but I know I will lose it all when I get back to the Netherlands. Yo, that's the thing. I've said this before, right? Listen, 
it's easier to lose weight in European countries because the food isn't as good. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, if you go to a place that's really good food, you're going to keep eating. You're going to want to keep eating, right? But in Europe, it's easy, it's easy to stop food, right? Because you've had enough. It, you know, it gets boring. And during lunch, my friend mentions her son had an allergic reaction, went to the emergency room. Luckily, he was fine, but they received a bill for $20,000. And then my other friend tells me about the time he fainted got transported to the ER and was handed a $10,000 bill. Ah! It definitely makes one think twice before deciding to go to the ER. And then we talk about work. Is that expensive? Wait, for fainting and going and they haven't even done anything is 10 grand. They've just checked up on you. Oh, wow. Which is the most American thing to talk about. Right. And he tells me casually, it's fine. Same old, same old had to work this past weekend still working 60 hours a week and i think to myself if i ever decide to return back to the u.s i think it would be quite difficult for me to adapt back to the american way of life culture right. in terms of working the number of hours okay the stress the lack of vacation wait is a normal work hours in america then 60 hours a week because the normal rate in the uk is like 40 hours a week Wow. And the fact that people don't take their vacation days. Oh, yeah, I've heard that. I do miss parts of American work culture, the drive, the ambition, the energy, okay. being surrounded by people who are very ambitious, ambitious about their careers. I love this about America and absolutely hate this about Europe, right? And I've said this before. There's just something about a can-do attitude in America. And you don't have that in Europe, right? So let's say I know my friend wants to pursue something. I'm a bit different. I love taking risks, right? So I'm different. But I've got a situation where my friend, he's fell out with a group of friends, like 10 people, because he wanted to pursue something that was like a risk. And they were saying, it's not going to work. Think realistically, stick at your job, blah, 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 blah. Putting him down, right? And I was there. He, he, thankfully, he's took the risk. I was telling him, don't listen to them. You guys, try, you know, go for your dreams and stuff, right? So I love that about America, and I've heard it over and over again. You guys will encourage people to take risks and aim for those, you know, high goals, right? I love that about you guys. It drove me to become a better person. Right. A more confident person. Love that. And to be honest, I do miss that because that is part of my DNA growing up in the US. Right. You don't get that much in Europe. But it's a trade off, right? It's a trade off between, yes, you do make a lot more money in the US. Okay. But the trade off is time. And then we start talking about vacation. Oof. Another friend tells me about his jam packed one week vacation visiting four countries. And I was like, how is that possible? Four countries, one week? Then I remember. It's possible in Europe. That's how I used to travel as well. <laughs> and that's the thing, right? When you don't have that much time, you learn to pack everything in. I remember when I was traveling to Europe during my first time, I traveled to 10 countries in two weeks. Because, wow. Well, when you only have two weeks, you learn to pack everything in. I had this Google Sheets. Yo, how is that even possible? That's like a different country every day. Yeah, pretty much. The agenda every day from 7 a.m. to 10 p.m., every hour had an agenda. Something oh, wow. To do. And that's the thing, right? When you travel so far to Europe, to Asia, from the US, and you only have one, two weeks, you better make the most out of your time. Fair enough. Now let's get back to paying the bill. But wait, what the hell is this? Sales tax? Tip? <laughs> madness. I need to walk off this madness and the lunch. I walk we towards that. Stanford University, which is nearby. I walk and I walk. And then I realize that I'm the only person walking. Oh, wow. It's a lot further than I thought. Is it really like a ghost town walking in America? Because I'm hearing like people do not walk at all in America in so many different videos. Is it actually like that much of a ghost town? When you walk, it's just cars. Bro, I don't walk personally myself. I probably would walk in America though. Like when I visit America, I definitely will be walking. But that's because I'm new there and everything's beautiful. You know what I mean? So yeah, but I, I drive everywhere in the UK anyway. No wonder nobody walks in the U.S. <laughs> I arrived at campus to see Beautiful. a bunch of tourists. American universities, especially elite ones, are tourist hotspots. Okay. The brand name, the letters, the cost of tuition. 
It's one of the biggest businesses in the U.S. And then I overhear some people talking about the most recent mass shooting. A mass shooting at an American school in suburban Denver. We are 25 days in, and there have been 40 mass shootings. It seems like this is that the many days in the U.S. And 40 mass shootings. Wait, I didn't realize there was so many. It seems like in the U.S. Are on the rise with incidents of four more people. Wait, this many? 609 in one year? Oh, wow. See, I would hear about it on the media and stuff, on the news. But I didn't realize it was that many. Oh, wow, that's crazy. This is the norm nowadays in the U.S. It's sad and it's horrible. Wow. And, oh, yeah, the police, they beat up someone else again. What's sad is that many people no longer trust the police. Right. And I know plenty of great police officers. Yep. But all it takes is a few bad apples to ruin it for the rest of them. I was speaking to this. On my other channel, we've been doing like police um, interaction videos. If you haven't checked it out, it's really good. It's top of the, it's a link top of the description. But I was talking to this with you guys on stream. And it is unfortunate. The media does, you know, like the media does the media, right? But like what we was talking about is like there's so many police officers. There's so many good ones. But because you've got the few bad apples that happens every now and again, they've just got such a bad name all around. Do you know what I'm saying? So it is a shame. It is a bit of a problem. But yeah, man, the media is the media. You know what I'm saying? That happens everywhere. Now, I wonder what the news outlets are saying because I stopped reading the news. Right. It's like this all out war. CNN versus Fox. Oh, really? You get two different stories. It seems like such a divided country nowadays. The left versus the right. Okay. Democrats versus Republicans. I've, I've heard of like the left and the right. I, I, see, I'm not a US citizen, so I don't really know. And I'm not really into politics. So yeah, but I've heard of like the left and the right are like two different, you know, parts. So the police like. versus the world. And this is the thing that always shocks me when I come back now how divided the country has become. I mean, you can literally lose a friend because of politics. Oh, really? The media has done a role in pitting this group versus this group as well. Right. And it's sad because it doesn't seem so united anymore. It seems quite divided uh, every time I come back. And it's sad. Oh, wow. And the thing about the police, well, the police they this is really interesting because this is from like an american perspective yeah this is his opinion and i'm guessing you guys watching this will have all your uh, other different opinions i don't want to go too much into politics because we've been on that on my stream before we debate a politics and man yep you guys have very strong opinions and hey look i'm out of this situation you know what i mean i'm in the uk bro i don't understand any anything was really going on I just watch these videos for entertainment purposes only. So, uh, yeah, please do not come for me for anything, <laughs> please. <laughs> they have such a bad reputation now when, in fact, right. they should be part of the community protecting people. And, yes, there have been very unfortunate events that have happened. Okay. But when I think about the majority of the police officers that I have met in the past, they've been good people. Right, genuinely yeah. Genuinely good people. Sure. And nowadays, we tend to label people based on this profession. Right. It's a bias. When in fact, I think it's wrong to do that. Yo, that is a problem that happens that everybody really kind of experience around the world, bro. Like some may experience it more than others. But like, yeah, you get a few bad apples. It can be the policeman. It could be race. It could be where you're from. Do you know what I mean? It could be it could be anything. The football team you support, right? And then because of the few bad apples that happen with that situation, everyone gets labeled bad. It's like in Europe, right? Bro, Europe, people hate. You know when the British go on holiday to like Spain and stuff? They hate the Brits, right? And it's because of like the football Brits. So like the football Brits will go there, trash the place, drink like crazy, right? And then like now they just hate the brits you know what i mean so like yeah it kind of does suck in that way uh it really does it really does i think we should judge people based on their character not on a label that we attach them to right but yeah i hope things get better i don't think so in the short term but i hope things get better
But hey, yeah, it's at a least problem public for sure. restrooms are still free in the US. <laughs> it's time to head to the mall to do some shopping. Yo, that's crazy. Even I found that out, bro. Like a lot of uh, restrooms in Europe, you have to pay. I was like, what? Because I was like watching a video in Germany and you have to pay. I was like, huh? Luckily in the UK, they're free, right? Luckily. Because uh, people would be so annoyed if there wasn't. And say hello to American consumerism and overly friendly customer service people. Okay. Shopping in the US is sort of like a game. Looking for deals, getting credit card points. It oh, can really? be extremely fun and addicting. Oh, wow. But this is all part of the game of American consumerism. Wait, what does the points give you? Does it like give you like free things? So be careful or else you'll be in credit card debt like a dirt of Americans. Wow. Well, it's late and it's time to head home. And of course, there's traffic at 3 p.m. And this guy ahead of me just cut off the cyclist. It's quite a shock to see huh? bikes, cars, buses, motorcycles all merging together in one lane. It can be quite dangerous to cycle in an American city. Oh, wow. I then go and meet some friends for a drink. And I meet all these techies. And of course, I get asked the popular question. Hey, so what do you do? I make YouTube videos. Oh, so you work for YouTube and Google, right? No, I just make videos. Oh. <laughs> so this is something that Americans do really well. We tend to compare ourselves against one another. Oh, right. It's a so what he's saying is what? Is this actually like a real thing? Like you guys are like competitive in conversations? Ah, uh, interesting. Very competitive society. Okay. And we do this at a very young age. Which school, which college did you go to? But that probably is actually helpful in the long term of where America's at now. Like all the biggest businesses, not all, but like the majority of the big tech businesses and businesses are in America, right? And you know what? I've always liked competitiveness. If it's friendly competitiveness and it don't get a bit, you know, too out of hand how it can do, especially when it comes to like football, soccer, right? It all gets way out of hand in the UK. But yeah, it's it's always it's always good. I think I like job, it. Job, which company, who got promoted? Makes you want to do better. It's part of the system. It's a very competitive society, in my opinion. Right. Compared to other societies. And I remember there was one time when I first started off my career, I was working in the big four accounting firm. And I went out to a bar with some friends. They were all investment bankers. Okay. And I was talking to this one girl who was an investment banker. And of course we talked about what we did. And when I told her that I worked in a big four firm, she kind of looked down. What's a big four firm? I know what an account is obviously, but what's a big four firm? I've, ne I've never heard of that before. ...upon me and said I worked in a big four firm she kind of looked down upon me and said something very judgmental. Huh? Like, oh, you only work at a big four company. Oh, so no. Hey, get rid of her straight away. I hate when people look down on people, man. I absolutely... It's, bro, it's one of my biggest things that I hate. I absolutely hate it. We're all equal, you know what I'm saying? We're all people at the end of the day. You know what I mean? Bro, looking down on someone... Nah, I like it. I just remember feeling very crappy at that point in time. Yeah, like I don't I wasn't like that. Good enough. Uh, but I, I don't blame her. It's the system that we grow up in. Right. And we tend to judge each other based on what we do. Wow. What a long, exhausting day. Beautiful. Just another day in Hollywood. Just another day in the U.S. of A. Wow, that was actually a really interesting video. Can't wait to see the comments on this. If you guys did enjoy, make sure you leave a thumbs up, subscribe for more content. I'm live every single day on Twitch.tv forward slash L3WG. If you guys want to check me out over there, I'll see you on the next one. Peace.